WTWO, your local election headquarters. The next candidate filed to run as an independent on July 3rd, a little late in the election season. One big push from Shane Meehan is safety and structural updates to Vigo County schools. Meehan is a father of three. He says that he's never had a role in politics and his run for mayor is to show the community that it can be done. Shane Meehan has lived in Terre Haute his entire life. The 42-year-old retired from the Terre Haute Federal Penitentiary and now works at UPS. But he hopes his next career jump will be Terre Haute Mayor. A lot of people that when I was out talking to them, they said, dude, there's no prayer unless you've been part of the political system in order to be able to do anything or make any kind of change. So I'm wanting to show them that it can be done if you're willing to put the time into it. Meehan is a West Vigo graduate, but showed no bias when choosing a spot for us to talk. We met in front of South Vigo High School. He says schools are one of the most important topics in his campaign and one of the biggest challenges Terre Haute faces. Structurally, teachers, um, public safety. He says gun violence in schools around the nation puts our youth in jeopardy. I think a lot of it has to do with the kids uh, and, and, and what happens at home. You know, and everything else going on around them cause a lot of pressure and a lot of a lot of things are happening that shouldn't be happening. When it comes to how the city should intervene, implementing a protection policy wouldn't be his first choice. I think a lot of it would be talking to the kids, getting out and talking to them, finding out what's going on with them. Meehan says when he was canvassing neighborhoods, getting his petition signed, he heard community concerns like taxes and transparency. I'd like to see be able to balance a budget while cutting taxes, uh, spending on what we have to have in order to move the city forward. As far as taxpayers getting their money's worth. Public safety is doing pretty good right now. I would say that's, that's doing real well right now. Uh, Infrastructure is doing pretty good in certain areas, you know, especially around college, everything, uh, riverfront properties. Those, those are all doing real well. They're, they're getting their money's worth out of that. Uh, but I think more can be done. He goes back to infrastructure on roadways and sidewalks around Terre Haute. He also says in order to bring money to Terre Haute, the workforce needs to be more diverse. There's a lot of people that will not come, not just Indiana, but Terre Haute, uh, if, if the diversity is not right. If we can get more diverse diversity in our jobs and within the community, I think that might be more appealing. Meehan says he would support Terre Haute having a casino if the positives are plentiful, especially in jobs and tax money. There's more I want to look into. There's more I want to know about the casino and what, what would happen here in Terre Haute if it came in. Another pressing issue Meehan heard from the community while collecting signatures. They feel like they're not hearing everything that needs to be said said more, they need more transparency. I heard a lot of that. Meehan says this is one of the most important elections the city has seen in a long time, that people want to see change. I'm just here to help. If I get a chance to get elected, I'm here to help and do my best in order to move Terre Haute forward. Meehan tells me he thinks guidance counselors are just as important as police officers in schools. He says he doesn't want a casino to take away from jobs or other businesses in Terre Haute. He says his platform is if he can't provide for everyone in the community, then he won't provide for anyone. Now, Meehan talked about the structures inside Vigo County Schools needing repair. The corporation hosted tours of their high schools two years ago, aiming to show the community what needs to be done. At the three 40-year-old high school buildings, our cameras captured HVAC issues, open cracks in doors and floors, water issues at each school like rusting pipes and lockers, and damaged ceiling tiles. At that time, we talked with Terre Haute South's principal. It seems to be some type of a problem every day within our building or within the infrastructure of our, our building. It's just getting very dated, getting some years on it. Meehan also says the community needs more diversity. The Vigo County School Corporation is thinking of a plan that would bring just that to the county. The school board recently voted to create a diversity, civility, and inclusion department. Superintendent Rob Hayworth says recent data showed there's room for improvement in these areas. School officials also plan to create an international residency program. This program would allow international students to continue their education in Vigo County using an F-1 visa. There is a similar program in Kokomo that officials hope to use as a model. 
It's been very um, fortunate financially for the Kokomo School District, and so um, we're, you know, trying to be fiscally imaginative and um, bringing in ideas that would help us. The International Residency Program would help fund the Diversity Department. Well, last but not least, we talk with our incumbent mayor, Duke Bennett. And an inside look and an inspiration the mayor aims to bring to Terre Haute.